Well, we are starting off today's trip to Thrift, pulling up to Red, White & Blue in Miami. Now, this thrift store is always packed. I'm talking hundreds of people at a time inside there. I usually don't find anything good, and if we do find something good, the line is just way too long. But let's see what we find. Seems like some nice selection of jackets. Now, this thrift store is kind of also expensive. Look at that, though. Chaps Ralph Lauren. Little spell out with the little chaps. $13, though. Kind of expensive. We'll put it to the side just in to see oh fuck i hate when stuff drops i'll hang that up don't worry i'm just going to continue with this one video marlboro marlboro brand new with the tax put that to the side i need to get a cart nautica competition 25 bucks we'll pass on that one Adidas. Whoa, look at this. Seems like it's like a Forever 21, though. Let's see, let's see. White tag Nike. Nothing on the back. Pro line Miami Dolphins. Brand new with the tags. Dolphins. 50 bucks. Giants spell out. New York Giants reversible, 40 bucks. Puma. Seems like that might be it for the jackets. It's kind of cool. Champion Miami Heat Adidas. This is a nice satin bomber, but 30 bucks too expensive. Harley Davidson or no, sorry, not Harley Davidson. I don't know why I thought it, just because of the orange NASCAR. Fila. Yeah, this Adidas Bahamas Olympics full track suit, forty bucks. Or the track suits, anything else good? Seminoles onesie. Overalls. Old Navy camo. Brand new with the tag, San Antonio Spurs. Hardwood Classics. 25 bucks though. They got some nice stuff here. It's just kind of expensive. This is sick. Vintage New York Giants, 1994 crew neck. Found some Adidas NMDs. They want $25 though, so I'm gonna leave these behind. Ugh. Well, look at these, why three? All right, I need a cart. This is not working. I can't hold all this stuff. Check out these Y threes. How much do they want? $25 also. Kind of be kind of scuffed. Eh, maybe I'll leave them for somebody else. See what else we got. What are these? OXS. Oh wow, I remember these supers from back in the day, the hemp ones. Stan Smith's. Ten bucks. Nike SB mids. Forgot to show you guys this. We found this vintage uh, 1987 Blue Angels shirt. Double sided. Blue Angels. 
Then we also found a Carhartt pocket tee. And then the Marlboro and then the crew neck. So four items, not bad, because I think this is the first time I've ever bought something from this thrift store. Well, now I'm gonna pull into Thrift City, which is right here. This little thrift uh, center, I guess I should say, in Miami, basically has like three or four thrift stores. So it's kind of clutch, because we don't have to drive anywhere. We can just kind of pull up to here. Vintage Nautica competition, little windbreaker. Little Nautica competition on the spell out. Nothing special though. Let's see. Fila. Guest jeans. Walt Disney World. Damn, thought we came up at first. No Gucci. These Jeremy Scott's? No. Someone just put bones there on Pumas. Not a spell out little fleece. Again, nothing special. This thrift store's kind of dry. Probably head to the next one. Well, that was my little hole in the wall spot and we honestly struck gold. That Venom shirt is probably a $100 bill easily. We got uh, that old school Biggie shirt that's like a $50 bill. Uh, we just, we made out really good. Now I'm gonna quickly head home. Uh, I left this morning to do a garage sale which you guys saw in a different video. The pups have been uh, sitting at home so I need to go home, take them out and uh, kind of let them out and whatnot. And then I'm gonna continue the trip to the thrift. So I'll catch up to you guys once I get back home. First find of Goodwill, we have this old school polo Ralph Lauren little raincoat. The little polo hit right there. You guys know I love yellow, this is perfect, but it's a size small so it probably won't fit me. It does have a fleece liner. I might grab it though. Vintage Express crew neck. The EXP with a little uh, ribbon. It's just, it's summertime so I'm really trying to stay away from heavy stuff unless it's like obviously something super crazy. That's why I may leave this, just because it's nothing really too special. This is a nice little pullover fleece, Miami University, all embroidered. But it has some full lockers, so we're gonna leave that. The wash of this shirt is so sick. How it's like a bleeding black, basically. Cosmo Mexico. My grab is for the personal, just because I love the wash. Even this one, this one's pretty sick. Cosmo Mexico. And then I actually saw this peeking behind this Del Sol. I wonder if this actually changes colors or not. It's the same brand. Let's see if it says performancecrewdelsol.com. Soul signature. It doesn't seem like this one changes color, so I'll probably just leave this one. Vintage Polo Sport. Little faded bathing suit with the orange. Probably gonna leave it though. Nothing too special on it. I think I'll just leave with these two shirts and the polo. Little raincoat. Just found this Polo Ralph Lauren little messenger bag. I have so many of these over the years that I don't even buy them anymore. I kind of just leave them for like the newbies that kind of come. They're not really worth much, maybe like 15 bucks or so. Um, but I save the newbies because when I was new I used to buy those all the time thinking that they were cr something crazy but soon to realize that you'll basically see them at almost every thrift store you go to just because they're so common. Well, that wasn't too bad. We ended up getting the Polo 
a little Ranko with the fleece liner and I only took one of those Mexico shirts because they were five dollars each and I wanted it just for person I didn't want to spend ten dollars on both of them so I ended up getting like the lighter one but we're gonna up another Goodwill and uh you know hopefully we get some better stuff so let's get it well Goodwill number two like I said let's hope we have some better luck it is late though it's like five six in the afternoon and usually I don't come out this late Well, any normal I would pick up this kid robot shirt, but I'm actually trying to get rid of him at the moment So I think I'm just gonna leave this one behind just because I do have so many of them So if you guys want a kid robot shirt, I'm selling them like 15 20 bucks Well, not bad. We have this old-school Pittsburgh penguins from 1993 little like a uh, t-shirt jersey almost Just came across this it's a newer age because it has the new print, but I just love the print all over it's like an all over print has like a safari map going all around and then that bright colors and then I also did find this uh, Sesame Street if it's cheap if it's like a dollar I'll pick it up just because it's a big nice print but I don't know maybe I'll leave it well I ended up leaving with the three shirts uh, the Sesame Street the like jungle shirt and then the old-school Pittsburgh and I'm gonna kind of just continue I'm gonna hit up um, not a goodwill another like random thrift kind of right by here and then kind of make my way back home only found two at this thrift so we have a basic essentials little Nike embroidered a little black swoosh and we have the vintage Mickey and Co cardigan little all knitted and then it has the Mickey right there a little tennis pretty sick 